Hello, I'm Sue Kay, the Chair of the Board of Directors of Robotics Australia Group, and I'm delighted to be here today representing Australia. Robotics Australia Group formed in May 2020 as a not-for-profit company to represent Australia's robotics industry. We seek to address the challenges facing the robotics industry in Australia, which is relatively small and immature, but it has strength in key niche areas such as natural resources, particularly agriculture, mining, and the environment. Our aim is to support the development of a sustainable robotics industry in Australia that ensures the talent and technologies that we develop here in Australia meet with success. Robotics Australia Group is delighted to be a founding member of the International Alliance of Robotics Associations. Australia joined the Alliance so that we could learn from the experience of other countries who are supporting the development of their own sustainable robotics industries and who share a common vision that robotics is a way to unlock human potential. Robotics provides humans with the tools they need to solve many of the difficult challenges we face, ranging from providing access for all people to food, resources, education, healthcare, and social support, as well as protecting the environment, fixing climate change, and making our workplaces safer, more productive, and also more interesting. Sometimes I'm asked by people from outside Australia, why Australia bothers to develop robotic technologies. After all, on the world stage, Australia is just a small player. And yet it is precisely because of our small population and the fact that we inhabit a gigantic continent with a challenging climate and unique environment that Australians have had to get good at robotics. We have more than a thousand companies across Australia that have robotic capability. Australia specializes in field robotics and remote operations, getting robots to do dirty, dull and dangerous tasks that we do not want humans to do. As we are a vast continent with only a small population, it means that we have thousands of kilometers of infrastructure to inspect and maintain. Bridges, roads, railways, power lines, pipelines. And we simply do not have enough people to do these jobs, which is where robots are important. We have become adept at developing technologies that are robust and can cope with extreme environments that have low power requirements and that can operate with limited communications, especially in GPS denied environments such as underground and underwater. Australia was the first country in the world to automate many of its mine sites and also the first country in the world to automate its ports. We are very excited to be represented here at the 6th China Hangzhou West Lake International Robot Forum for the inauguration of the International Alliance of Robotics Associations. The launch of the Alliance at this event is significant as it highlights the key role that the Zhejiang Robot Industry Association has played in the establishment of this international alliance with its headquarters here in Hangzhou. I look forward to being able to visit Hangzhou in person one day in the future to learn from your tremendous success in developing your robot industry. China is really leading the world in terms of setting and executing policies that encourage the development of robotics. And we can all learn a lot from your example. An opportunity made easier by the creation of this important international alliance. Robotics Australia Group are very proud to be part of the International Alliance of Robotics Associations and are committed to abiding to the working principles of the group, including open sharing, starting small and thinking big, and pursuing common goals and values. As robotics associations, we are all stronger if we work together, and the Alliance allows us to do just that. Thank you.